Minneapolis residents able to give their input on the future plans for the old 3rd Police Precinct site. It's been vacant for years, for four years, after it was set on fire after the murder of George Floyd. Fox 9's Maury Glover was at tonight's open house to learn a little bit more about this proposal. He's live in Minneapolis. So, Maury, what did people have to say about this tonight? Well, this is still emotional for some people, but the city believes this is a positive way to move forward. During the civil unrest following the murder of George Floyd, protesters torched the Minneapolis Police Department's third precinct. Now community members are weighing in on what the future of that building should look like. It's just been sitting there like an eyesore, like a bleeding wound. And we need to do something with it so that we can move on. The city hosted an open house at the Minneapolis American Indian Center to get feedback on its proposal to redevelop the property at 3000 Minnehaha Avenue. The city wants to relocate its elections and voter services to the former site of the 3rd Police Precinct and is taking suggestions on what should go in 8,000 square feet of space on the first floor that would be set aside for use by the community. It was really clear through our previous engagement that people wanted other things other than police use here. And so putting our election and voter services as well as other community uses that we're exploring is a good way to kind of mix those elements. The city believes repurposing the building to become a democracy center would help increase access to voters because it's centrally located, is on a number of transit lines, and there's free parking. Some believe it is also a symbolic way to help the community move forward from the memories of what happened there. Voting and democracy in general, that's an opportunity to bring people together and to heal past wounds and trauma. But whatever the city decides to put there, some community members say it will be better than the painful reminder of turbulent times that stands there now. We want to just do something, and I'm glad that the city is deciding to do something with it. It might not be what everybody wants, but it's something. Now, people will also be able to give their input on an online survey, and there will be another open house like this one in the fall. Reporting live in Minneapolis, Morning Glover, Fox 9.